The CTMU is Chris Langan's theory of everything. While the CTMU may well be the most complete and advanced philosophical syntax and description of reality we humans will ever be privileged to come across, it is of little use to the spiritual evolution of mankind unless it is widely understood. This is the CTMU in eight minutes or less. The CTMU was discovered by Chris Langan, a self-taught philosopher, cosmologist, and reality theorist in the 1980s while he was working as a bar bouncer on Long Island, and he has since published scores of papers, books, and C other CTMU material. In this video, we will show how the CTMU is built from first principles, how the CTMU proves and explains the existence of God, the soul, free will, the reality of good and evil, the afterlife, how the CTMU reconciles all religious faiths, as well as ensures their compatibility with contemporary science and philosophy. And finally, how the CTMU can serve as the logical basis for global peace and what's been termed the kingdom of heaven on earth. The CTMU builds itself from three base principles, the metaphysical ontology principle, the mind equals reality principle, and the multiplex unity principle. Let's take these one at a time. The metaphysical ontology principle draws a boundary containing all of reality. Reality cannot be defined by anything external to this boundary, for anything real enough to affect reality is included within reality itself. Reality is ontological, self-describing, and all operations and processes within reality are included within reality's description of itself. Reality is thus called a closed descriptive manifold in the CTMU. By virtue of its closure, reality must also bring itself into existence, both creating and sustaining itself, and is responsible for its own structure and evolution. The mind equals reality principle says that only because of the analogy of the human mind to the structure of the universe is man able to discover the laws that govern its processes. Essentially, it re relates intelligence and intelligibility. Some of the less thoughtful scientists think of the universe essentially as an ensemble of material states. And yet our, and yet our experience of reality is as an ensemble of conscious perceptions. The CTMU says that it's both. The CTMU supports a kind of panpsychism whereby not only reality itself, but all of its contents are alive and conscious. Think about it. It makes no sense that your experience of consciousness should be, uh, that your experience of consciousness in life should be the result of anything less than a conscious and living universe. There's a duality here. Not only are our minds real, but reality is mental. And through conscious beings like humans within itself, reality becomes self-aware. So in this sense, reality is like a mind. The key breakthrough of the CTMU is that contrary to the beliefs of atheist materialist types, when we're discussing the global identity of reality, it is no longer a question of what, but who. The answer, of course, to who is a precise definition of God, which brings together the seemingly disparate insights of religion, science, and philosophy into one grand picture of God as ultimate reality. It's very beautiful how these things all come together. But neither is this an attempt to define God out of meaningful existence, as in the case of certain philosophers who will define God as nothing but a first cause, or a similarly overly intellectualizing definition. Nothing like our religious experience of God as a personal and sovereign entity. No, in the CTMU, God is a personal being, all-powerful, meaning self-configuring, all-knowing, meaning self-reading, and everywhere present, meaning self-distributed throughout his creation. A God that hears prayer can communicate with people in the language that they understand, the very same God described in many of the world's religions. It is this last property, God's omnipresence, which I'd like omnipresence, which I'd like to touch on last. This property coincides with the multiplex unity principle in the CTMU. What this principle says is that anything within reality must share the same general laws and structure, called syntax, as reality at large and everything else within reality. This distributed syntax, which includes, for instance, the laws of physics, is a function of coherence. Without it, reality would be unintelligible and would fall apart for lack of internal consistency. And because we all inhabit what could be creatively termed God's mind by virtue of the mind equals reality principle, there's a direct many-to-one two-way mapping between God's global syntax and each individual human's local syntax. This is what it means to be made in the image of God, by the way. We, the CTMU says, are local instantiations of God and the reality system at large. We are not God himself, we are not nearly as general, powerful, or knowledgeable as God. Nevertheless, there is direct mapping between your own being and the source of all knowledge and power. It is also by virtue of this mapping that we inherit many of the properties of the reality system at large, including creativity, perception, free will, consciousness, and more. This mapping, in regular parlance, is called the soul, and is the basis of your personal relationship, or lack thereof, with God. This relationship is free to better through concordance with teleology, the will of God. 
In a human context, this is expressed through the golden rule. Treat others how you would like to be treated. An imperative towards loving action and ethical living. And in carrying out this assignment, you are participating in the structure, in the purpose and evolution of the universe. The degree to which you do this is precisely the degree to which you retain God's essence and can be retracted into him and continue living after your death. Otherwise, the parts of you that are insufficient to God will be annihilated and your identity recycled into the base substrate from which it came. These two outcomes correspond, though not perfectly, to the traditional notions of heaven and hell in many of the world's faiths. The CTMU description of God, or ultimate reality, as greater than the sum of its parts, as both within and beyond the physical universe, forms the logical basis of any correct description of reality, which Langan calls a logical panentheism. All the world's religions reduce to the same core structure, and are thus interpretable in the CTMU. While the CTMU does not endorse pure relativism between religions, it shows that no one religion ought to dominate all others, because they are all descriptions of the same ultimate reality, or absolute truth, which transcends the distinctions between religious faiths. By exploring and explaining the basis for the interpretation of religion, rational ethical calculation at the individual and societal level, and the relationship between God and the individual, the CTMU provides the basis for not only the correct description of reality, unifying the various object languages of religion, science, philosophy, and more, into one meta-language which encompasses and transcends all of them, but also contains the roadmap for the spiritual evolution of mankind. The CTMU shows that Anything which is unacceptable to God at the level of human existence is not only foolish, but irrational. As such, if it is properly apprehended by a critical mass, we can bring about what has long been termed the brotherhood of man, as well as an end to the violence, cruelty, despotism, and absurdity which plague our daily existence, and the inauguration of the kingdom of heaven upon earth. The feedback loop between our striving and God's being creates a singularity of sorts with the potential to redeem our fallen world. CTMU is the truth, and there is no getting around it. We ignore it at our peril. If you have any questions about any of the aforementioned concepts or anything else in the CTMU, please, please leave a comment. Any and all questions asked in good faith will form the basis of future CTMU videos. Thank you. Let the light shine forth in the darkness and may the peace of our Father in heaven be upon you. Like and subscribe. Peace. It's eight minutes.